All right, back down in Niagara Falls. Over the past few weekends, I've had quite a few people uh, texting me, emailing me, sending me messages, telling me how busy it is down here. So uh, I'm back once again, checking it out and see how busy it is. Uh, today is Saturday the 27th of February. Uh, it's quite nice, as you can see, a little bit of blue sky. Uh, it's bringing people out. And just to remind you uh, that here in the Niagara region, we are still in the gray zone. Uh, we will be moving into a red zone on Monday, but more about that later. But currently we're still in the red zone, sorry, the gray zone. And uh, our neighboring regions next to us are in red and orange. All right, Niagara is still and is the only region in Ontario that is in the gray zone, uh, which is the most strictest of the color coded system they have uh, with neighboring regions in red and orange which will be uh, just to our north and to our west. Uh, only Toronto, Peel, uh, North Bay, Parry Sound have the stay-at-home orders. Um, but here in Toronto, uh, sorry, here in Niagara, where we are still in the grey zone, uh, people are still venturing down here, even though technically all the bars, restaurants are all still closed, shops are very limited to how, the, how many people can let in, and so on. And it actually clearly says on the government's website that if you're in a gray zone or a stay-at-home order or even a red zone you are not allowed you're not permitted to travel between public health regions so technically if you're in Holton and Hamilton which is red you should not be traveling to Niagara unless it's essential travel all right as you can see from here it's an endless stream of cars just non-stop left, right, up, down. So uh, very busy traffic wise. I'm one of those, I don't, I don't really care, you don't really wear a mask if you're outdoors, as long as you're away from people. But when there's a lot of people around, it's better safe than sorry. So uh, just be on the safe side, I stick mine on momentarily. I can't get across the road, car after car. <laughs> Busy. Here we go. Lexus of Richmond Hill. Yeah, 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 I know they could have bought it while they were down here or moved down here, but we've got Lexus, Richmond Hill, <sighs> Nissan Downtown, which is Toronto, High Park, which is Toronto, uh, Parkview BMW. That's not around here. Uh, Canadian Fine Motors, oh, I could be bought anywhere. Dun, dun, dun. Just gives you an idea. Not saying everyone, but just gives you an idea. Uh, Don Valley North, this Toyota. Applewood, wherever that is. Chevrolet Cadillac. Yorkdale. Erin Mills, Mississauga. Cambridge. These ones are smarter. They've got no identification on them. It's busy.
There you go. So let's go and check out. Oh my God. <laughs> it's busy. You're going to like this. The WeGo bus says essential travel only, but yet it's operating on a tourist line. The WeGo is only operating on a tourist line, but it says essential travel only. What, what the hell is essential down here that the WeGo bus has to come down here for? Absolutely nothing. Such a contradiction. Da, da, da. Oh, quick stop for the rainbow. There we go, done. All right. There's no mistake, and it's really nice down here, but the fact is, it's going to be here tomorrow, the week after, and the week after that. It's not going anywhere. What I always find funny when I come down here is that people stare at me when I'm talking to the camera, but at the same time, they're all doing selfies themselves. <laughs> it's no different, really. Um, I saw something on Twitter earlier on today. It made me laugh. It's, it's very, very true. Uh, uh, a guy called Aaron had tweeted, uh, the mayor of Niagara Falls is likened uh, to the mayor from Jaws. Uh, doesn't care about actual people who live in Niagara Falls, just cares about the money. This is very much true, what's happening in Niagara Falls. It really is true. That's a very true statement. Essential travel, lockdown, grey zone, uh, do not travel, whatever. Uh, why are the tourist buses running still? Why are these WeGo buses, which are clearly bringing tourists down to Table Rock? Because no one lives here. This is just a major tourist area. So if we were supposed to be in a lockdown or um, essential travel, these buses should not be coming this, down this far. They should be terminating in Niagara Falls itself, like in the uh, industrial area or the business area or the, low, or the people where people live, but not down here, the tourist area. This whole thing is just a complete mockery. All right, here we go, back into it again. Uh, this time the sun is behind me, so you get a better view. The dog checking out the falls. <laughs> That's cute.
uh, looks like an Instagram influencer where she's posing over everything. And I can see a lot more people heading this way. So in the half hour I've been down here, it's actually getting busy. There's more people walking towards me than there is walking back where I'm going. I've never ever worn my mask under my chin. One, it's wrong. Two, it'll annoy the crap out of me. Yeah, it might be good to see it being busy. And a part of you wants to believe money is being put back in our local economy here. But with all bars and restaurants still closed in the Niagara region, the only people going to be benefiting uh, from a busy trade right now will be the Tim Hortons and the McDonald's as everyone starts to leave. Because uh, I don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong, if any local businesses who are watching this video later on today uh, can tell me whether they uh, benefited from today being busy and uh, what kind of business do you have. But I honestly believe most businesses that are open directly in the tourist area, which is not many, um, will not have benefited. Except for Tim Hortons and McDonald's. The usual suspects. It's quiet down this end now. Seems to have gone past the, uh, the really busy area. So, may as well be a tourist myself just for a few seconds again. I've got this whole section to myself right here. And check out the US Falls. The American side. And that's a horseshoe, the uh, Canadian one. And have you seen my video I posted yesterday on, uh, the we on my weather vlogs? No ice. <laughs> Very disappointing this winter when it comes to ice. All right, so the bottom line is I'm not criticizing all these people that have come down here today and checked out the Niagara Falls. Uh, my beef clearly is with the officials, the government officials. Everyone's just confused. We really are. We're pissed off. We've been stuck in for so long. We don't know what's right, what's wrong. And for all these people, for a long, long time, have been coming down here on and off, on, um, visiting these places, which are meant to be off bounds. There's been no repercussions. They've allowed people to come down. They've left things open. They've left, the, they've left the transportation running so people can get here and so on. So the whole thing is a massive contradiction and it's wrong. Uh, and that just pisses me off. And it, it's frustrating when you see so many local businesses that are struggling right now because uh, you don't want them to open, but you're allowing people to come down to Niagara Falls uh, as though it's open, but it's not open. And that's the issue. And it's unfair on everyone. So we have people highly likely coming down from Toronto, York region, whatever, and all that, are clearly in a stay-at-home order still. But yet, nothing ever stops them from coming here to visit. I've already seen a few cars with Richmond Hill uh, plates on, uh, which gives a good idea that they come from there, or somewhere around there anyway. Um, but yeah, it's this whole zone system, it's bollocks, just bollocks. Now, what I would ask, which I think is a reasonable request, if you're thinking of coming to Niagara Falls, check it out. Yeah, right in your calendar, book it in. But not just yet. At least wait for us to get into the Orange Zone. When you get into the Orange Zone, it'd be worth coming down. A lot more things will be open. The bars and restaurants will be open more. You can go in, sit down, you can relax. I mean, right, when it goes into a red zone, it's not really worth it. I mean, we can't even get any local people in. 
So when we get to an orange zone, it'd be far more beneficial. Come on down there, let's hope by end of March, we'll all be in the orange zone, if not better, and things will be improving. So uh, anyway, to all those people that were in the busy area over there wearing masks, well done. And uh, I'll put mine back on now, because it's getting busy up here again. All right, going home. Endless amount of cars coming down here, as far as the eye can see.